but when I was younger, like one of my first girlfriends that I like was serious with as a kid, like my first love kind of thing, that kind of thing. Oh yeah. Um, it ended. It, it, so I thought like I was going to marry her. Like it was like, you know, we dated for years as kids, you know, like 15, 16 to like 20, 21, something like no that. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I really thought I was going to marry her. Like our families were close. And uh, I, I, we, we said we were going to, and I wanted to and stuff. It didn't end well, but, but so I did this thing. I, I, I wrote her a letter. Um, when I, the first time I knew that I, I, I was like in love with her, you know, it was like not that far into our relationship. Let's say a year, not maybe a year or whatever. And we ended up dating like five, six years. Something like that. And I wrote her a letter, uh, to, 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 to propose to her, to tell her I wanted to marry her and like how I felt about her and to be like, I feel this way now. And I know one day this is going to happen, but I just want to let you know that I've been feeling it from right now. And then I mailed it to myself and I po it was postmarked and it was sealed. Wow. And so I was like, when I proposed to her one day, oh, I'm going to show her that. I'm going to give her the letter and let her open it. And it's kind of the postmark date on it from all the way back then. Oh, that's romantic. Yeah, romantic. I don't know why or how I thought of that, but I did and I did it. And uh, I didn't and propose, I did the letter and everything. And I'm like, you know, five years later, <laughs> we broke up or whatever. And, you know, it, it, I would call it, it was on her. Uh, let's just, you know, whatever I was calling. Yeah, it was probably on it me. Was, no, I was on her. Like, it was, you know, whatever, whatever. Like, right, we broke God up. God bless, you know, but I, you know, we're kids. But, uh, but I, I remember too, because it was like, uh, oh my God, dude, it was the worst timing. It was like a little bit after like um, Christmas, oh, I think, God. or her birthday. Did, this was the 90s. It was like the- Would you get a jet ski or something? It was <laughs> <laughs> No, that would be great. A jet ski. I was like, no, I was like twenty. No, it was like, uh, it was like the ninety. It, it must have been like ninety six, ninety seven, maybe something, something like that, right? Oh yeah. Rent. Rent was the huge Broadway musical. It was like oh, the. It was. Like, do you know Rent? Remember oh. Rent? And you were dating a woman. <laughs> no, not How do you even know who the Broadway musical was. Oh, you're from New York. I forget. Yeah, about this. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I've been going to kid, music, oh, plays yeah. and music. Like, no, Where but that's I that's a thing. Like, right? Oh it's yeah, like, yeah. Rent. Yes. You got Toronto. the golden ticket. Yeah, that's exactly the right one. And. uh you know, like now, like how it's like, in that, who's, who's the hot ticket of the president? Oh, uh, Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. It was like that. Yeah. Right? Then. And I spent $300. And she wanted to see this thing. And I spent three. Back then, do you know, I was tw oh. 19, 20, whatever. $300. If you were just for inflation now, it's like. It's one tenth of your salary. Yeah, it was like twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and maybe more. <laughs> and I got these things. And I, I surprised her with them. And it was that night and I called her on the phone and I said to her, I got these tickets, the rent tickets, you know, whatever. Like I got these, like it's something she wanted to see for so long. It felt like it was like unattainable because it was so expensive. Oh yeah. Wow. And I got, I remember it. I was like, I told her I was going to surprise her with something. And so I got ready. I like had it on a button down shirt. Like I got like all nice because I was gonna pick her up and drive there and go see rent. And so I got all ready and I called her and I told her I was gonna pick her up. And then I told her, I was like, you know, we're gonna, I got tickets to see rent. And this wasn't the only time this happened because it was like rocky toward the end, like broke up, got back, broke up, kind of remember. But, but she broke up with me on the phone. No. The debt, the like a few hours before rent. Mm. And I was like, I was, I mean, I was devastated, dude. Right, this is worse than the gout, dude. And um, <laughs> this was like the gout in my body, my whole body, like yeah. a gout, gout heart. I had gout heart merch. Mm. That's there's a, there's a that's a subsection of the gout merch. There's gonna be a gout tab. <laughs> if you I have had, gout in your heart, dude, I had gout you heart. are dead, dude. My heart needed crutches, right? Oh. And I I'm bawling, crying. I'm bawling, crying. Oh. And, and what borough were you in? I was in Staten Island. Oh, thank okay. God. Okay, and then. <laughs> So, so rent is now at eight o'clock. It's like, it's like three 30. And I was like, I, w I spent my life savings on these tickets. Yeah. So dude, I got in my old beat up car, all dressed up. And I drove to the theater crying. Oh. I paid to park. 
Sorry. And I was like, I was laughing about something else. No, 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 please. You know, I know you would never laugh at this. And, um, oh. dude, I, but you know, when you, when you cry so hard that you look like you got punched in the <laughs> oh, face, yeah. dude, like, like out, like my eyes were like, like, I look like the photo of me that became a meme. <laughs> like I wasn't that heavy, but my face just blew up. Like I was, oh. when you cry so hard oh. that it looks like you got straight up punched in the eyes. That's how I got out of the car. Oh. And, <laughs> and, my goal was not to see rent. I couldn't do it. I've never seen it. I, I was too, too. I'll tell you, and I never saw sleep in Seattle because she yeah. she ended up she ended up going on a date with a guy who took her to see sleep in Seattle, <laughs> and it broke my heart. And so I never saw it to this day. Oh. I mean, a Nora Ephron classic. Tom yeah. Hanks. You would think I would see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still to this day. Now I I would see it. Now it doesn't yeah, bother me. But, but I just I kind of like think it's fun that I haven't. Yes. But I and then I I was like how do I so then I was like I gotta scalp these because like I I couldn't eat the tickets yeah and I wasn't gonna go with sitting there next to a blank next to an empty seat and cry uh. through rent so I'm standing outside I'm like 19 years old my face is puffed out the I still have I'm crying there I'm crying trying to scalp I had two rent tickets in my hand. I, I, I was in a black button down shirt. I was crying Ugh. and people were going into rent. And I was like, excuse me. And let me tell you something. Those scalpers, I give them respect because people don't even want to, they don't give you the time of day. Wow. You know, I was a young kid. I was dressed respectfully. I'm right in front. I got two yeah. tickets in hand. I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to yeah. run. They, it was like crypt tonight. Is like that something? Sick person. Yeah. yeah crypt if they were all Superman. Yeah. And, I'm crying, and which also probably in hindsight looked really weird. Like here's a young boy crying. Yeah, you know, right outside in front, of rent, yeah. right outside, this kid, and just yeah. saying, "I'll give them to you for two eighty instead of three hundred. Like I don't even know if that was a deal or not. Right, right, right. Dude, it was so sad. And then um, what I ended up doing was after it was like everyone rejected me, and it was like almost start going to begin. Oh yeah, and I was like, now I'm like, I I I didn't know what to do if I lost that kind of money. You know, like I was like, it would have been so sad. So I went to the box office. And I pleaded with them. And I just said, my girl, I said everything. I was talking to the box office lady. She was like 80. Yeah. I was like telling her my life story. I'm like, she broke up over the phone. I was like, I, I've been, I've, I've been, I'm keeping this a sacred. You know, like, <laughs> and she goes, all right, here's what I'll do. I'm not supposed to do this. She's like, but the next people that walk up to buy tickets because it was sold out, she's like, I'll refer them to you. Whatever. And these two women walked up and she referred them to me. And I don't know. I don't remember exactly what I got for them. I, it wasn't full price. Oh. But I, I was able to unload those. And um, did you feel any better after you sold them? No, hmm. no, not at all. I didn't see rent. I took a hit on the money, and uh, and she was still gone. And where'd you park? Uh, let me tell you something. I parked. Uh, you know, in that area, there's a lot of parking garages nearby, so I yeah. wasn't too far. But they get you. They get you. So I was saying, they like, get God, you. This... You go to a Broadway show. You're. It's like maybe a four hours total. It's like eighty dollars now. That's rent. That's rent. Yeah, they charge. <laughs> they they charge you rent yeah. a bar. Yeah, they do. It's insane. So anyway, so after she broke up with me, I told her I about the letter. About the letter. Oh yeah, I would do that kind of stuff. Right. Well, <laughs> just show how romantic yeah, it, I am. It wasn't spiteful or anything. No, no, I was no, no. Like, just like I was like, but you don't, don't you understand. Like from five years ago, yeah. I, I thought you I know, like this. I can't believe this. And I guess she was. She was. I guess she. I don't remember. Her exact reaction. I think she was moved by it. She must have been moved by it. I, I, have, to, I have to really think on it. Because I know I told her, but I just got to, I, I can't call it the moment. It's been so long since I spoke about oh, this. Oh, yeah. But check this out. About three, two, three years later, I was in the workforce now. I was out of college. So was she. I mean, and I, was, uh, I used to work at Prudential Securities. And I was at a desk, right? I had like a, at a college, you know? And, uh, I got an email from her and uh, she said, can you give me a call or whatever at her office? So I called her and she goes, hey, listen, I just want you to know um, there was this there was this site called I think it was called Daily Candy. I guess mm -hmm. it was like a daily blog or whatever. I don't yeah. know what it was about. She said and uh, they were uh, doing a contest um, where uh, you submit. If, submit the most if you got if you're married submit your engagement story and the most romantic would win and she goes and so i submitted what you your did letter? for me uh, she didn't send my letter in but she told, told the whole it. story but as we as if we got married because you had to be the married person so you know so she said i i said that i am married and this is what my what you know what my how my husband proposed and she won the contest 
and they gave her a $5,000 shopping spree. And she called me up and said, do you want to split it? Do you want the, to, to do some of the shopping spree with me? And I was like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do it half the shopping spree. I was like, like, I don't think I was, I wasn't like I was still like mad, but I was still hurt, you know? And I was like, I, you know what it was? I was more like, that's fucked up actually. Yeah. Like you, you didn't experience this. Right. You, we didn't experience it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I was, I thought we were going to, we didn't. We didn't, and now you're profiting off of it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, it's yeah, a lie, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, you just lie. Like, if you, I mean, how? Like, wouldn't you not want to do that? Because like you, 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 you broke up with me. Like, yeah. So why use that story? Mm. And and she won, wouldn't you know? Because of your work. Yeah, and I was like, no, nah, you take it, you know. And I, but in my in my in my head, I was like, I think it's kind of messed up that you submitted that. I mean, yeah. At least for you know t- for me to hear it. it hurts, oh hurts, yeah, hurts a little bit. Oh, but that's what the letter I wrote to the future. You know, you know. I don't. Yeah. You're you you romantic. Memory. You're a romantic. Uh, Sal. I was a very um, Salvatore. How can you not be romantic with that name, Salvatore? You know? God, it's. I don't know if you want to add this in there, but it looks like you spent about the equivalent of seven hundred and twenty dollars in twenty twenty four. Yeah, maybe just pull that chart up. <laughs> you adjusted. <laughs> Let's adjust the value of of the. Uh, of the rent tickets and your love at the time. <laughs> 1990? When was it 90? It was 90. I, I want, I'm going to call it 96. Okay. $300 and then now $600. Yep. It's not chump change, man. Not and then all. how much was $5,000? I guess double, right? It'd be 10000 Yep. Right? The shopping spree she won? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's that's basically going to keep the same, right? Yeah. If, even if it was two or three years later, yeah, pretty close. Oh, so we're double. We're basically 28 years later, we are double. Wow. In, we doubled up. I-